<coughs> hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you <coughs> how to read and uh, write in the registry. Um, this is the registry editor. If you may notice, um, I don't know if you are fami familiar with it, but it can be cool when you know how to uh, use it in your Visual Basic project. So. I'm going to make a a um, just a Windows form application project <coughs> and let's see there's just some uh, some uh, just personal settings or whatever you want to call them um, so I'm going to add a button another button let's see and a text box um so I'll add these like that. Oh and resize it. So button one, button two is going to call uh right and button one is going to be read. So double click on the form and we have to import some things and that is just easy. So it's going to be a uh, before the public class, so I'm going to type it imports a system. No, 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 no. Microsoft <coughs> Microsoft dot Win32. That's very important. Otherwise, you can't use the code. Um. So I decided to make a um a key uh in the um, current version Microsoft Windows current version uh, it's just a H key local machine software Microsoft Windows NT and then current version when you click in the folder uh, you'll get a co couple of these and I'm going to add a new key so um, yeah I go to um, let's see read okay now um read is going to be a uh, text box one the text so we'll store it into the text box of course is hope is equals to registry dot get value now uh, the key name uh, let's see uh, GNBJBNK um <coughs> the value name um so um it's going to be uh the value so it will be text it will be nothing wait a second value name oh uh sorry um value name is going to be GNBJ mean K default value is error could not load the key like that and I'm just delete this one I go to edit and then copy key or key copy or whatever there and I can just copy it in there um so let's uh, check it out first of course I'm going to uh, make a key um, call this one uh, let's see ah, it's not the wrong place yep um, navigate again here yeah. um, just this uh, let's call this one GNBJBNK double click on it let's see here yeah. Test. So read is going to be test. So it worked right. Um. So when I change it in there, hello, YouTube. Oh. Ah, oh, no, it's not a space. I just can't see on this monitor. But okay. So now it shows here. Hello, YouTube. So now comes the right part. Right part. So double click on this one and type in. Oh, regis 
tree dot um uh, set value obviously uh so the same uh, it's going to be this um now is going to be the name and that is going to be G and B J B and K and then the value and that's going to be text box one dot text and that was all code not that hard I think but okay maybe if you don't understand something hello now delete it and read it says hello um let's say this was made by G N B J B and K and write it clear it close it if you want to then read it and it shows this again so you can also if you may saw my other video you can also do uh, that it will be uh, um, there uh, when it's loaded it will read it so it will automatically show when you start up um, so to just explain something um, so you see uh, these are actually nearly the same okay so this is the uh, actually the uh, directory uh, the location of the uh, key or whatever you want to call this um, <clears throat> so it's only the path then comes the file name if, if you want to see it on that way so it's this one and now it's going to store this into this file that's located in this um, so it will store everything what's in textbooks one the text now maybe you see here uh, I typed an error could not load the key that means the default um, value and that means if it's not loaded I thought so I'll delete it there press play and now it will show you error could not load the key and that is because yeah because there is no key called GNBJ being K now I added it and now it's there you can see let's uh, call it hello right and now it will show hello again see so it's pretty easy um make sure uh, if you're ch testing it uh, make sure you delete it out of the registry I don't know why but maybe <coughs> maybe it will crash your computer or something well actually it can't but mm, mm, yeah yeah you get the point um but I think beware of um doing like uh, changing the system root uh it, it can be uh, devastating to your computer I think but I don't know if you have uh if you got access to that key so you can test it out uh, try that out try it out I mean but <laughs> I highly do recommend to uh change other keys in the registry so um yeah thanks for watching this tutorial uh feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me uh oh, wait a second uh yeah never mind um so my email address is g n b j b and k at gmail dot com yeah uh so please subscribe again and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.